hello everyone today we'll see an example of eastern algorithm so we have uh, this some like we have this graph and this is the initial state and this is the goal state and this is also given in the question the all the states and the heuristic function all the heuristic values so first we need to remember this important formula over here which is f of n equal to g of n plus h of n so with the help of this formula we will be solving the entire uh, sum so where g of n is the cost of getting to node from the star state this means that uh, consider i have to calculate g of n for this node b so since g of n is cost of getting to node from the start state this means g of b will be cost of getting to node b from the start state which is 1 plus 3 that is 4 so g of b will be 4 like this we will calculate g of n for every other node so <coughs> next is h of n h of n is the heuristic function that will be given in the question itself so uh, for solving this we will consider a q uh, but before that uh, uh, let's start with the initial state s right so s is the initial state and we will calculate the f of n value for the state s as follows so f of s will be g of s plus h of s so g of s will be 0 since s is itself the initial state so it will be 0 and h of s will be <coughs> 4 because it is given in the question itself right so uh, f of s will be 4 right so based on this uh, since s is the initial state we will put this in the queue so it will be like this s with f of n value as 4 this is the f of n value right so next uh, since uh, s is visited now what are the possibilities uh, that we can uh, what are the various possible paths that we can go through s so we can go from s to a and we can go from s to g so <coughs> let's uh, go from s to a uh, so this is uh, s to a and we have to find the uh, function f of n value from s to a so uh, we will find uh, f of n value for uh, since we are going to node a so we will consider uh, node uh, to be a so f of a will be equal to g of a plus h of a where g of a will be uh, the cost from the starting node which is uh, 1 from the uh, start node is s and from s to a the cost is 1 so this is 1 then h of a is given in the question itself which is 2 so f of a will be 3 now <coughs> next uh, s uh, we uh, we have found the f of n value for s to a now we will find f of n value from s to g so next we will go from s to g so the value for f of g will consider g since we are going to g so we will find f of g so f of capital G equal to small <coughs> g of capital G plus h of capital G so uh, g of uh, capital G is 12 from the cost from the initial state which is 12 and h of g is 0 in the question so f of g will be 12 so what we will do now uh, we will replace this s of 4 <coughs> which is the parent with its children which is uh, s to s, s a and s to g and we will place it in ascending order depending upon the f of n value so s to a f of n is 3 and s to g f of n is 12 so this will come first right so s uh, so uh, s to a with the f of n value 3 will come first and s to g with the f of n value 12 will come next right so next uh, <coughs> so uh, so s to a will be in the front now what we will do we will replace this we will take it out and we, and we have already replaced it with the with its children now next we will consider s to a again we will do the same thing we will uh, what we will do since we are considering s to a this means we have to consider uh, from a we are going through this path our next node is a so now uh, what are the possibilities from a so what possibilities are we can go to b or we can go to c so <coughs> let's uh, consider uh, so we have to find f of n from s to a to b and s to a to c right 
so let's start with s2 a to c you can also start with a to b uh, so let's start from s2 a to c so since we are going to c so we will consider f of c and so g of c will be uh, 1 plus 1 right cause from the start node this 1 plus 1 we have to consider this path right 1 1 plus 1 uh, so f of c is 1 plus 1 which is 2 and h of c will be given in the question which is 2 so our cost is 4 similarly we will consider next as uh, b so <coughs> we'll calculate f of b as uh, g of b plus h of b which is 1 plus 3 uh, this is 1 plus 3 and h of b is given in the question which is 6 this is 10 now next what we have to do we have to replace this s of a with its children which is uh, this and this and also we can see that there is one more node over here so what we have to do we have to sort this with this two so we have to sort all the entries that we are going to put it over here so we will replace s of a with its children and also it will be as it is but what we will do we will sort these three we will sort all the records so uh, f of c is has the smallest value which is 4 so s to a to c will come first f of b has the next uh, smallest value which is 10 <coughs> which is so s to a to b will come second and s to g which is already which was already in the list has a value of 12 which is greater than these two so it will come last so our q will be like this s to a to c will be uh, s to a to c will be 4 s to a to b will be th uh, will be 10 f of n value then s to a to uh, sorry s to g which was already there will be 12 right so <coughs> we have basically sorted this in the ascending order based on their f of n values and now uh, next uh, in the front next uh, node in the front uh, is s to a to c this so we will consider uh, s to a to c so now we will consider this path so s to a and c so next we have to find the uh, path from c so c to uh, so from c there are two possibilities that is we can go to d or we can go to g so first we will go to d and calculate the f of n as follows similarly we will go to g and calculate the f of g value as follows right and we will replace this with its children which is this and this and we will sort the entire row that is this two plus this two we will sort it all in the ascending order these elements in the ascending order so what will be next element in the queue s to a to c to g will be 4 since uh, g has the smallest value f of g is 4 that is why so we will sort it and we will get this value right and uh, when we then uh, again this is the front element we will consider this so from c we have to go to g so next element is g and since g is the goal node so we have already reached the goal node uh, so <coughs> next uh, this will be our final path because g is the goal node so with the cost which is f of n value with a 4 so this is how we will uh, reach uh, this is how we will get the shortest path and the cost minimum cost that's it for today kindly uh, find the links uh, important links in the description below and do watch all the videos uh, and please subscribe thanks for watching